Hey guys, it's Enter VHA here, bringing you a new video. So the great folks over at Sofa Baton, I love that name, that is like the coolest name. Sofa Baton uh, sent me over one of their brand new universal remotes. This is the X1 universal remote to show you guys. Now this thing handles uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, infrared, so it's got a ton of devices that you can control straight from this remote. It has an LCD screen on the top of it to kind of display some various things about different remotes as well. So this thing is awesome. We're going to take a look at it and see what all we can do with it. Here we go. So you can pick this thing up uh, straight from Amazon's website for about 190 bucks which makes it pretty comparable uh, when you consider uh, its competition like the Logitech Harmony remote and some of the other ones out there. This remote does run on a rechargeable battery uh, and majority of its configuration is done from its hub. Uh, so you basically communicate from the remote to the hub and the hub does all the work. So this thing is looking pretty awesome. But without further ado, let's dive right in. So let's get this thing opened up here. Uh, so you can see we got a lot of information on the uh, outside of the box. And, you know, basically giving us the capabilities of what all we can do with this remote. Uh, but if we, uh, if we get the lid slid off here, right there on the uh, top are our instructions, uh, the instruction manual there to kind of explain on how to get everything set up with this remote. Uh, next up, uh, we have the uh, remote itself. And as you can see, uh, it's got the display right there on the top. We have the wheel there in the middle uh, used kind of for navigating that LCD. I really like the design. Uh, this remote's pretty lightweight. Um, it doesn't feel cheap. So, I mean, it still feels uh, very durable. Um, pretty solid remote, I think. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got uh, some IR cables uh, for pointing the hub at any older IR devices that you might have. So if you have devices that don't currently support uh, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, which almost everything nowadays does, uh, you can still control these using these IR cables. You just put it in front of a little IR sensor on the device. Uh, and, the, uh, and the hub here will be able to communicate without any problem. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have two USB cables, uh, one for powering the hub, and then a second one for uh, charging the remote. So this uh, battery life on the remote is like roughly two months uh, between charges, which is pretty awesome if you think about it. Let's see, we got a USB power brick. Uh, that's kind of used for plugging in that hub, you know, with that USB cable. And lastly, we have the hub itself. Now let's see if we can get the wrap off of here. They've got all kinds of plastic wrapped around this thing, but uh, there it is. It looks pretty good. It has the power port and two IR cable ports on the back of the device, as well as the power button. But that's pretty much everything that comes in the box itself. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and get this thing added into the Sofa Baton app on my phone. We are now ready to get the new hub and remote added into the Sofa Baton app. So here we are in the app. And since this is a new hub setup, we're gonna select set up new hub here. If you haven't already, it now asks us to plug in the hub, uh, which I've already done. And now we are ready to get the hub into pairing mode. Now in order to do that, we need to hold the power button down on the back of the hub for three seconds. Uh, once we do that, we can say OK on the app and it will begin searching for Bluetooth devices. And there we are, it sees the Sofaton X1. So we're now ready to put in our Wi-Fi information. Now remember, this only supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so you won't be able to use 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi here. Uh, so make sure you are using the correct SSID. 
And now we are going through completing the setup. And boom, now we have the connection with the remote and the hub. Uh, we can give it a different name here if we wanted to. I'm just gonna leave it the default for now. But that's it for getting the remote and hub added into the Sofa Baton app. Super easy. Uh, didn't take really any time at all. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we will look at getting some devices added into uh, the app for us to control with the remote. All right, now we want to add a device uh, to Sofa Baton to the app uh, for our remote to be able to control it. Uh, so remember the remote communicates with the hub and the hub is the one that actually sends all of the commands to the various devices. And all of our configuration is done from within the Sofa Baton app. Here we are in the app. We have to choose what type of device we want to add. So, so most older devices uh, will be using infrared. Uh, the newer devices are going to support Bluetooth. And then there are a few devices that are currently supported here using Wi-Fi. Uh, that's basically uh, Roku, Sonos, and Philips Hue. But we are going to select Bluetooth here, and we're going to be adding my Apple TV. So we'll choose Apple. Uh, we can change the name if we wanted to. I'm going to call it Apple TV just so we know what it is. And basically at this point, it's going to pull down all of the current commands for Apple TV. So it'll just pull down all possible commands that are associated with Apple TV. Uh, once it has all the commands, then we need to basically associate the Sofa Baton system with the Apple TV. We're going to do that by going into System Settings on our Apple TV. Uh, basically going into uh, the Bluetooth section. Now I already have my Apple TV associated with the uh, Sofa Baton. Uh, system and you can kind of see that listed here but if I didn't then it would show up uh, as discovering it and you can add it at that point uh, it works pretty much the same way uh, but once we do that then it will show completed there in the app and we basically now have our Apple TV added to Sofa Baton and we will be able to control it from the remote so that's a pretty simple process for getting devices added uh, to Sofa Baton. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next step and I'll kind of go over what the config options uh, we have available to us uh, from within the app. Going over the uh, config in the app. Uh, so there isn't a whole lot of bells and whistles in the app, but that's not to say that there isn't a lot you can do with it. Um, you can see here I have uh, two devices added to the app that I can control uh, right from the remote. So I have the Apple TV that you watched me uh, add in the previous section of this video, as well as my Sony Smart TV. Now, these are both Bluetooth uh, devices that I added. And you can see if we click on either of these, it pulls up the remote itself. And you can send these commands uh, right here from the app on my phone uh, and be able to change the volume and channel and whatever we want to do right here from the uh, screen here on my phone. And if we hit edit up in the top corner, uh, we have the ability to, let's see, add repair commands. Uh, so if some of the functions aren't working properly, we can uh, correct that here. We can make modifications to the remote buttons uh, on the remote itself with giving it specific commands if we wanted to. We can modify power settings as well as make changes to input source configuration. If that specific device requires a specific source on the TV or something like that. Uh, we can also uh, repair our Bluetooth connection. Uh, say we're having some issues there, we can do that as well. Down along the bottom, uh, there is a section for activities. Uh, if we want to create activities, which is basically like a series of remote commands uh, put together. For example, if we wanted to watch a certain channel with a certain volume level, 
uh, maybe using uh, a specific source on the television, we can set up an activity that will, in one button press, do all of those commands for us. Uh, in the bottom corner, there is a section for user settings. This is where we can enable the API um, interface for the Sofa Baton. We go under settings. This is kind of the hub settings that they have set up there. So you can resync uh, your remote with the hub if you needed to. And probably my most favorite feature of this um, setup is the find my remote feature. So from time to time, the kids hide the remote or it gets stuffed under the couch, or maybe it's carried into another room because uh, they went to the kitchen or something else. Uh, you can basically push the Find My Remote button on the app here, and the remote itself will start sounding an alarm, uh, allowing you to locate it. So that's pretty awesome. And you basically just hit any button on the remote, and it'll stop the alarm once it's found. So that's kind of cool. But that about covers everything you could do in the app uh, for this uh, remote and this setup here. Uh, let's move on to the last step, and I will give you my final thoughts. All right, so first things first, uh, let's kind of show you some footage of the remote actually working here. You can kind of see it. Uh, here I'm controlling my Apple TV, which is in the background there. You can see me using uh, the buttons, as well as even uh, scrolling through the uh, commands uh, available under the Apple TV. So for less than 200 bucks, I would say this is a pretty uh, nice universal remote. You know, it does Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, even infrared for all those older devices that you might have. From what I can gather, uh, they are adding new features and new uh, device support all the time. So this is a pretty comparable remote to what you would have with the old Logitech Harmony remotes. The only thing I wish uh, you could do would be uh, some sort of home assistant integration where we would then be able to use a remote to control various devices from within Home Assistant. That's a feature that I've uh, I've seen uh, several requests for in the Home Assistant uh, community, and hopefully uh, that might uh, gain some traction because that would be awesome. I'll have a link to Sofa Baton's website as well as their Amazon storefront in the description below. Head over there and take a look for yourself. I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, head over to my spring merchandise page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're looking for the latest smart home gear, you're going to want to check out Smonet. I'll have a link in the description below. Head over there and see what deals they currently have running. And if you're looking for the latest smart window treatment, you're going to want to check out Smart Wings. I'll have a link in the description below for them as well. Head over there and see what deals they currently have running. If you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, you're going to want to check out Robinhood. I'll have a link in the description below. If you sign up with that link, you and I both will get a free share of stock. It's a win-win for both of us. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you want to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.